Well, welcome to Unruly Guides. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link your cover art into your ebook, especially for the Kindle. Now, in our previous video, we created a linkable table of contents for a Kindle file. Now, if you want to create one for an EPUB, the links are slightly different. A Kindle uses one long HTML file. In our templates, we've already pre coded the area with the style sheets and the cover art. We use a div class of a line, which makes it centered on the page. We've given it an alt name, which is the title, the same here, and the cover JPEG name. So that means if you create your own cover, all you have to do is name it cover.jpg and zip it together into one file upload, and it should work for you. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the folder where we had saved everything. And you can see that we have our Kindle test at HTML file, which we created. It has our image of the cover and also the style sheet that we created. So we want to zip all these together. Well, first I want to show you what you can pre-proof the Kindle test by double clicking the HTML file and it will open up the page and you can see that the cover pulls in. Now as I scroll down you can see that it has the chapter one tags that we all created and if you look down here in the bar, the blue bar at the bottom, you can see the links where it says pound Chapter 1, that's the anchor tag, and Acknowledgement. So if I clicked Acknowledgement, it would pop down to the Acknowledgements. And you can see that it's up here, pound ACK. So we know that it's pulling in the cover. So now what we want to do is we want to zip these files together that we want to have when we upload to the Kindle Digital Publishing Program. Now, there are some places like Mac where you can actually highlight the images and right-click and compress it, but I've had a few issues with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Stuff It program for the Mac. If you have a PC, you can use a program called WinZip, or there's a plethora of other zip programs out there. I'm going to create a new file and place it into my folder where all my images are. And I'm just going to name this as I named my um, HTML file, Kindle Test. And you need to retain the .zip extension, and we're not going to encrypt the content. And that's very important to remember to not encrypt, especially when you're creating an ebook. And we'll talk about that later. So you're going to create the file, and it opens up a small window here. So now what we're going to do, it's a very simple process, we're actually just going to drag and drop what we need into the zip file. So we need our cover, and you drag it over there. We need our test file. And I'm going to put in the style sheets because oops, because I want all my styles pulled in that I had pre-created. You may not have a style sheet and it just defaults to whatever Kindle has. So now everything is saved in the zip and you can see it right here. Now what we need to do now is we need to open up our Amazon program, Kindle Digital, I mean Direct Publishing. If you need to add a new title, you just click here, but we're going to use an existing one. And when it opens up, it will have a lot of information that you need to fill in about the description and the publishing rights. You notice here that we uploaded the book cover already. This is the book cover that's for the store. It does not go into the actual Kindle file, and you can change it by browsing. What we're going to do now is we're going to browse for our book we just created, which is zip. And you can upload zip files, EPUB, and Word. So click Upload Book, and this may take a while depending on the file size of your images in your book. And you can see here that it's converting the book file to a Kindle format. So if you have an EPUB that is ready, you can actually upload the EPUB here and it will con convert it to a Kindle format and it will be just fine. Okay, it uploaded successfully and we're going to preview the book. And you can see that the chapter, what I did, if I had not put my style sheets in it, and you can see that in previous videos, that the chapter is actually flush left then, and I prefer them flush right. So I have them there. I have the first paragraph indented, and there's no spaces in between. Now if I go to the next page, you can see that there's a huge break here, which means that the chapter breaks are working. And they are. So now we want to go to the table of contents. And we're going to back up, and we should see the cover. And sure enough, we do see it. So now you are ready to upload your file to the Kindle format or up to the Kindle store. For more information, visit unrulyguides.com.